welcome back to another YouTuber. Mama. So today we're gonna go fall shopping and it's perfect weather for it outside because it is gloomy, it is rainy. My sister is actually gonna meet us there. She's taking a lunch break, so I'm gonna pick her up on the way and we're gonna go check out HomeSense. Oh, robot vacuum going again. I don't like the thought of buying things, not using them to the point that they can't be used anymore or you know, buying things for like a one-off situation. So I've been very conscious and making sure I make lists and have specific reasons for the things I'm purchasing. I still have lots of decor, fall decor from the last few years that will pull out. So don't need to worry so much about the decor. Oh my goodness, you're so strong. Mommy needs, a, mommy needs an energy boost. That's the other thing too, is that I've been so good at not getting takeaway coffee or takeout for the last like two months now. I've been doing so well, so. Is that better? God, not really. Nothing's gonna make it look like I've slept. Easton just went down for a nap and I'm so torn. There's two nap times, okay? So two one hour windows and then a three to four hour window in the, in the evening for me to work. I'd say four to six hours of work a day, but that doesn't count like in that evening work window. If he wakes up, I rock him back to sleep or feeding times or anything like that. So I would say roughly, I'm gonna settle for five hours of work a day. And that includes everything from like filming time to editing time to emails and admin to everything in between. And so doing all of the content that I'm doing, I have to be so strategic. And as soon as he goes down, I get this like ah, moment where I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But today I really wanna film this haul because I've been keeping everything in one spot in my office here, knowing I wanted to film this so then I can then put things out, have the candles ready for rotation for the Talktober videos, things like that. This mug isn't new, so I just made myself a coffee. This mug was actually from my assistant, Courtney, shout out. She got me this last fall or the year before. It may have been the year before. Orange and distressed and it's just perfect Utober vibes. And I just made myself just an oat, oat milk latte and I put a little bit of pumpkin spice on it. I should go do my makeup, but I don't think I'm gonna film anything today other than this. I have so much editing to do that I'm like, I can't justify putting on makeup if this is all I'm filming. Like, so this is how you're getting me today. You came over to my house and it's a gloomy day out and I made you a coffee as well. And we just hung out in our sweatpants and talked about some of the things that we bought for fall. Where do I start? Let's start with mugs. This is the first one. This gives me like sweater weather mug. That's what I would call this mug. The cream colored with some beige speckles and a beige, beige handle and it's in the shape of a pumpkin. This gives me like school bus yellow vibes, very much like my nails, which I feel like is like a fall yellow. My brain works in like colors and in symbols. And so when I think of September, this is the color that comes to mind. Picked up this little green French press and it's so cute. This is perfect for travel because it's a one cup French press. So anytime I want a little French press coffee and only one cup, especially with decaf, this is so perfect and also it doubles as cute decor for the coffee talks. Okay, sticking with the mug themes. Are you ready? The next mug I got, the last three mugs actually are all from HomeSense. This brand is called Market, M-R-K-T, Market Finds. And it just says, stay spooky. And it's got two cute little ghosties on it. It's orange and pink and the inside of the mug itself is also pink. So cute, my sister got the matching one as well. So I feel like this is gonna be super nice. I haven't used this one yet, but for some of the spookier story times, this one is also from Market Finds. These were also $6 as well, each mug, this one. So not only does it say Sup Witches, but it's also got a little witchy hat inside the mug. This mug I bought for one reason, 
and one reason only. Take a second, tell me what you think of when you see this mug. If reputation came to your mind, then we are one and the same. Whenever reputation TV drops, this is gonna be my my decor, my, my mug of the day. So yeah, let's do candles. This one actually has a super cute lid to it. I'll show it to you in a second, but it's called Autumn Hayride. This smells so good. I just burned this. It's got a little bit of apple and like warmth to it. There's like a warm, almost like a warm amber smell to it. An autumn day. The lid to it. It's so cute. I can tell you what I use things for afterwards. Every time I finish a candle, I clear out the jar and I, I actually have the ingredients to make candles. So I'm gonna turn all of these candle jars into candles when I'm done with them. And mugs, I collect mugs. So I would say in terms of spending money on things, if it's something that I know that I actually use or collect, mainly being books and mugs, those tend to be the two things where I allow myself to splurge a little bit because I know I'm gonna use them for years to come. I still have mugs from 2012. Being that one of my main sources of income is my podcast and my podcast is Kaylin's Coffee Talk, I gotta have cute mugs for my coffee talk, right? This one's really cute. This one's called Bourbon and Oak and it's an artesian soy wax candle. I was trying to pick the soy ones just because I know they're better for you when you're burning them. Uh, this was the only soy one they had that I really liked. It looks like a little potion jar. Very witchy, if you will. This one's more clean smelling than Autumn Hayride. Autumn Hayride had very much outdoor warm apple-y scents. This is like a little bit more, I would say like essential oil smelling, but, but not essential oil. I don't know, bourbon and oak. It smells like bourbon and oak. And then the last candle I got was this one. Sand and Fog always has good ones. And I got Jack-O-Lantern. It's got a cute lid as well with some bats and pumpkins on it. It just smells like pumpkin spice, like exactly what you would imagine a jack-o'-lantern candle to smell like. And again, you'll see those rotate in the background of Talktober. You'll see them rotate around the house, especially now that I'm showing you guys what they look like. I can actually put them throughout the house. You're going to see those things rotate throughout Utober and Talktober. Okay, let's do books and then I'll end with some clothing items. I was so good this year. My sister and I went to the bookstore yesterday. It's going to be a separate video. I need to organize my bookshelves upstairs. And I have a couple fall books from previous years that I haven't finished so I told myself no buying a shit ton of fall books this year. The only thing I purchased, Suzanne Collins who wrote The Hunger Games released The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and I'm pretty sure this is the movie that's coming out. I could be wrong but I decided to pick it up and give it a read. The only other book I got isn't for me. It's Easton's book but it's The Little Blue Truck's Halloween. If anybody has kiddos, do you know The Little Blue Truck series? He loves trucks. He loves anything that has a motor and goes And Little Blue Chuck has a full series. We have the Little Blue Chuck, like the original. The Easter Bunny got him the springtime one during for Easter. And then for Halloween slash his birthday this year, I picked him up the Halloween one. I haven't read it yet and I don't want any spoilers. I want my first time to read it to be with Easton, but like, it just looks so cute. And it's a little lift the flap book. So very cute. And last but not least, I did get a couple clothing items. Now I wanna go fall thrifting, specifically for a pair of jeans. And I would love to find like an oversized plaid. I keep stealing Ryan's and he doesn't mind, but it would be nice to have my own. Until then though, I did pick up a couple things specifically for the tops and stuff or for Talktober. But first I got these Quince really nice fall socks. Uh, and I picked up a pair for my sister as well. There's just really really comfortable they almost feel like compression socks they're not next i picked up this cute little sweater these are all from american eagle what i'm about to show you so this oversized brown sweater <laughs> and it's so cute this one i picked up for some sunday club stuff that i have coming out for fall can you read that it says sunday scaries i've made myself a list i made it when i cleaned out my closet spring summertime of the things that i actually need and the main things like the two spots in my closet that are very lacking. The first is tops. I don't have a lot of tops to go with like a pair of jeans or nice pajamas. I always just wear either Ryan's clothes to bed or I have a couple pairs of shorts and like oversized tees myself. But I have like no cute pajamas. These little Charlie Brown pajamas. These are the shorts and they're so, so soft. It's got the little matching top. So this is not the cutest set you have ever seen. I almost took this one out of my um, shopping cart. But then I looked at it harder and I realized that it's literally Ryan and I. It's a lady pumpkin and a, I'm gonna say that's a male pumpkin. There's really no gender to that pumpkin. But it, to me, I looked at this and was like, that's Ryan and I in our garden in the fall time drinking coffee. So 
I picked that up. So lame, but so cute. Oh, and that's my haul for the day. I'm doing a no spend September. So I made sure to get everything very early this year. I got it all at the end of August. So that's it for me, okay? The only thing I'm gonna allow is a thrift store adventure. So I just finished my coffee. What time are we at here? Ah, it's only 9.25, which means I probably have another half hour before Easton wakes up. So I'm gonna go edit, but thanks for hanging out. Thank you.